your perp back with another video and wow i just got done watching there's something wrong with the children this is a brand new horror movie coming out of blumhouse blumhouse is starting off very strong this year with horror so far um man i think this might be one of my favorite movies this month we'll have to wait and see to see what else comes out but anyways for those that don't know um, about this movie, this is pretty much very, it very much starts off as your like typical horror movie. You know, you have these couples um, that go by the name of Ben and Margot. Those are our main characters, but they also have their friends there where, well, it's mostly Margot's friend, Ellie and her husband tom they brought their kids along to this cabin you know what i'm saying to kind of get away for the weekend very like i said it's very to the books as far as a beginning but where things kind of take a turn is when they start to kind of reveal things about one another i'm i'm talking about the couples you know you'll have ben talking to tom about having kids and while they're talking about that, you have Margot and Ellie talking about things that her and Tom have done in private with other people. Mm -hmm. Very odd. And then it just becomes this theme of wanting to have children. Things get brought up with people's past and it gets really messy. The drama is very, very heavy throughout this movie. But as soon as they start to go wander into the woods, they find like these ruins. Very odd place to just take your kids. Very just not good parenting 101 right there. But that's where the movie really starts to get interesting as the kids start to act weird and bizarre as soon as they start to get out into this place. Their nose starts to bleed, which lets you know some some fuck shit's about to happen some shit's about to go down but it's a very slow burn for something that's only like an hour and 30 minutes but things really escalate when they need to escalate and you know the first like 25 minutes is really just sitting with these characters while the last like hour is really getting into the shit because what ends up happening is you know margo ends up saying to ellie like let me take care of your kids and i'm like and i'm looking at like ben like are you gonna just say anything and i would be like no i'm cool we're only here for the weekend let's just kick it all together because that's where things start to go left because when they're watching these kids and they're acting weird they're doing very strange things when the next morning comes, they just disappear. And I won't spoil exactly where things go from there because things definitely start to pop off once they disappear. I'm not gonna tell you exactly where they find them and what happens afterwards. It's a lot of twists and turns and I like how they kind of shift focus like between Ben and Margot's perspective and the psychological aspect and the mind bending kind of elements that they kind of use throughout this movie and the subtle hints and little clues that they give you exactly what is going on here. And I actually like the ending because the ending was really surprising and the gore was, it was enough. I was expecting more. The gore was a little meh. At times, there were some really cool action scenes and bloody scenes and whatnot. I was expecting a little bit more. Other than that, I had a fun time watching this movie. I thought it was a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting certain things to play out with certain characters the way that they did. Although, it is kind of somewhat predictable at times. That's expected with Blumhouse horror movies at most points. Still entertained, though. I was never bored. I was really invested with these characters. I like the dialogue. There's some parts that made me laugh. There's some parts that like, yo, this was really creative. 
some things, um, you know, it was cool. I, I really enjoyed the si soundtrack. The soundtrack definitely slapped on this shit. That shit was really crazy. It had a lot of like 80s types of John Carpenter-esque type of music mixed with a lot of just um, suspenseful music. That was cool. I enjoyed this movie. You should definitely check it out. I think it's going to be out on Paramount Plus and like MGM Plus soon. But right now it's only out on VOD. So I don't know where else you could find it. You obviously know where you else you could find it. But I'm just letting you know if you're looking for a streaming service. Yeah, you could definitely just wait on it. Or if you want to rent it for one night or over, over the weekend, definitely uh, check it out. If you have seen this movie, let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. Till next time, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.